Hi guys, I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have another trunk club. This time around I asked for, you know, spring transition type clothing. I always ask for cute tops because um, mostly all you ever see are my tops. <laughs> and then some like casual pants, not jeans, but pants. So let me show you what they sent me. Okay, so for the pants, we have this pair, which is from Wit and Wisdom. And I do actually have a couple of jeans from Wit and Wisdom. And I feel like these ones are fine. I'm not crazy about the navy color, especially as a more lightweight, springy type pant. I feel like the navy just uh, is just too dark. So I think I might actually exchange these. They have a greenish color or a khaki color. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. It, they're a little bit stiff. I feel and I'm not sure if that's one of those things that will break in after you wash them a couple of times or if they're just always going to feel a little bit thick and stiff like uh, work pants, you know? <laughs> so we'll see. I'm a little bit on the fence about these, but I do think that they're pretty cute and they're not too expensive. Unlike these ones from Paige, these are like over $200, which I think is insane. They are on sale, but you know, not that much. So these ones are another just, they feel, I really don't like the cut on these. I feel like on my body, it just accentuates all the wrong parts and is very unflattering. And it's got this, you know, scrunchy waistband in the back. Plus it has a drawstring, which I hate drawstrings because then like, it always just looks like this weird bloop, you know, when your shirt goes over it. So you either have to wear a crop top or tuck your shirt in, which I don't want to do. So I, drawstrings tend to bug me anyway. And then with the back, it just like pooches right above my butt. And I don't have one of those bubble butts that's gonna fill that out and the front just feels very long and makes me feel like i'm bloated um i don't like these in case I didn't tell <laughs> so i don't like those at all also from Paige, these are a high-waisted skinny jean that are cropped and th it's the same kind of thing that front panel that just makes me look bloated and they're not they just don't fit right and not worth the price. Like if those fit your body type, great. They do not fit mine. Okay. Then I have this jumpsuit. Now I do love jumpsuits. Like I have this thing about jumpsuits and this one, I'm, I wish I liked it more. It has, the material is like silk pajamas. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's kind of what it looks like too. And, but I like the pattern on it. The little seashell, I don't know what that pattern is. And then it's got this kind of trim on the pockets and around the edges and stuff. And you know, I like it. I think it's cute. The v-neck on it only has one little button right here. So you definitely would need to either wear a cuter bra or a tank top or something underneath it. It does have pockets. It has an elastic waist, but it does have the little drawstring tie. Now this I don't mind because you're not putting a shirt over it. So it doesn't bother me as much. The length on these is like, like they're not quite short enough or long enough. It, it kind of hits my ankle in a weird place. And I kept trying it on with different shoes and I just, I'm like, I don't know. And from the front, I feel like it's very unflattering. And then from the side, it like makes my body proportions look weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's comfortable and it's cute. But again, I feel like, like, you know, when you try on so many things and they make your body look weird, maybe it's not the clothes. So I changed into my own jeans from Wit and Wisdom, by the way, and tried on the top. So this is just like a plain, sweatshirt it's got a v-neck and it's a little bit cropped but not so cropped that i'm worried about showing off my belly unless i really raise my hands up but you know it's not like super long the sleeves on this are cute though it has you know the kind of a puffed out sleeve thing going on and i do like the color and i feel like this is a good transition into spring throw it on over your shirt and you know take it off and on throughout the day kind of a thing but it's sort of plain also. So I do like that one, but I can't say that I love it. You know what I mean? Okay. This one I feel I have very mixed feelings about because I love the color. I think the sleeves are sort of fun. This poofed out, you know, material with the little things on it. It's, you know, it's like it's, it adds a little femininity, a little cuteness, but on its own, I just felt like it really rides that fine line of old lady shirt versus 
cute and so I, I tried it on with a belt to be like okay if I had this tucked into a high-waisted something you know like I could see that or maybe with a belt and some you know faux leather leggings maybe I feel like it's one of those tops that you could really work with to make it super dupes cute and then while I'm filming you know you would just see this part and it would be cute right okay moving on to this monstrosity uh, this is awful. I just hate this. In the picture they show on Nordstrom's website, it's like, oh, that's pretty cute. But then on me, I was like, this looks like old lady pirate clown shirt. What? It looks terrible on me. The sleeves are just like, it's too much. And I, I just don't like it, which is a shame because it's actually, you know, I mean, it's very soft and I, I feel like it could be fun if it fit me better or if, you know, I don't know you guys, I don't know. Okay, this one feels like a very soft, thin, old sweatshirt that you've had for a thousand years. And I'm not against camo, I do like green. And I love the fun back thing. Like this you can adjust if you like it closer to your neck or if you want more of a boat neck thing going on. And you know, I just like that little extra something something going on in the back and it is very lightweight, you know, so this is a good springy type sweatshirt when it gets chilly in the evening. So this I actually, I actually do like. I thought this was pretty cute. This little jean jacket from Cut From The Cloth is actually really cute. It's very stretchy, which is nice. And I thought that it fit well and it's cute, but I already have like 14 jean jackets just like this. So I'm not gonna keep it because of that, but I think I did think it was cute. So if you need a cute little stretchy jean jacket, cut from the cloth is a good one. And they did send me some shoes. These are from Steve Madden. I like didn't even unpack them or try them on because I don't like them. I don't like them at all. This is just not my style of sandal with the little ledge like that. I don't like that. They're very stiff. It's got this squared off toe, which I don't like. Um, I don't like anything about this. I will never wear these. So I didn't even bother trying them on. So not my best box. <laughs> this was, you know, I mean, we'll see. I'll try again, but that's the fun of Trunk Club, right? I can be like, no, I hate all of this. Try again, send me something else. And I feel like, I don't know, are we in a weird transition fashion time where I'm just like not up with the times that I don't like any of this stuff? I don't know how to wear it. Is it just that my body is changing because I'm getting old and everything is flat and wobbly? I have no idea. I have no idea. Anyway, not my best box. So let me know what you guys thought of everything. Would you have kept any of this? I will link everything in the description box in case there was something where you're like, oh, I do need a jean jacket. There will be a link for you in the description box and you can check it out. So anyway, all of that information will be down there as well as my referral link, which if you use that, you do get a discount on your first trunk club, which is nice. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.